Lego. 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 Breaking news. Breaking hey, everybody. News. Welcome back Breaking to Back news. to Brick. I'm your host, Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFOLs from around the world about their Lego designs and how they build them. And we get down to the Breaking News every Friday to discuss all the things Lego's been working on for the past week. Thank you for tuning into the podcast this week. I really appreciate you all stopping in. And make sure you subscribe to the podcast on backtobrick.com or you can subscribe at your favorite podcast app such as Spotify and Apple. You can also leave us a review on Apple Podcasts so that we can, you know, get your feedback. We like to hear the things you like, the things you don't like, so we can correct it. First admin piece, I am going to be heading to London uh, in the next two weeks. So if any of you are listeners that are London-based and would like to meet up at a pub to grab a pint, I am down to do that or just to, hey, just meet up and say hello i'd love to do that as well um i will also not be having any podcast episodes during that time as i will be at a work trip and on vacation so i hope you guys understand and looking forward to coming back and uh, doing some other episodes that i will of course talk about then but let's talk about the breaking news and our first story is about a lego discovery center Lego Discovery Centers are a great way to interact with the entire family, specifically for children as they're not made for adults to attend unless they have kids with them, unless it's an adult night at the Discovery Center, which hopefully uh, I can attend one of those now that we're getting our first Discovery Center in Northern Virginia near the D.C. area. This is going to be located at the Springfield Town Center near D.C., and the lease was just signed, and the 32,000-square-foot indoor attraction will be opening sometime in 2023. These are really cool experiences because you get to not only interact with designers, but uh, build sets and enjoy not just a Lego store experience, but a little more interaction, such as an indoor Legoland theme park. The Duchess of Cambridge, or as we in America also know her as Kate Middleton or the future queen one day, decided to use her kids' Lego bricks, poured them all out on the floor, and spelled out the word Denmark. Later this month, she will be heading to the town of Denmark, and she's looking forward to learning from experts, parents, and practitioners about Denmark's approach to early childhood later this month. The Duchess tweeted, Denmark is a beacon of best practice in its approach to the early years, with culture which prioritizes the best start to life. Lego is a great way to do that, and it is true. The youth is the best way to s- place to start and really energize the creativity and wellness uh, in our youth instead of all the stress that comes later in life. Following the release of the classic superstar Adidas shoe, or Adidas, the Lego partnership with Adidas is coming out with two more shoes, this time in the Superstar in black with the white stripes, and it has accent pieces of blue as well as red. This is going to be on the toe and on the heel piece that they have the studded sections. This is going to be another drop for $85 on the Adidas website. They are available now, and specifically for kids, so you can collect them or you can give them to your kids. I like the original, if only I could get my hands on one. They seem, of course, to be extremely exclusive. So this Sunday is going to be the Super Bowl here in the United States. I can't tell you who's there, but this is Super Bowl 56, and it will premiere this Sunday, February the 13th. And there's a bunch of great builders at Legoland California decided, let's build something new for the Lego Mini Land. And it's going to be the largest Lego stadium in the world. It's going to be the SoFi Stadium that they're continuing to build. They have designed it already, but they're continuing in the process of constructing it. And it's extremely impressive. Not sure when it'll be completed. They said sometime in March. Uh, But just another addition to Miniland. If you're a big fan of the SoFi Stadium or American football, this is something you can check out at the Legoland California. Lego City is known for its transportation. They've done trains, planes, and automobiles, and they're continuing to expand on that. And in doing so, they have to research more and more things to build. And there was a tweet put out by one of the designers for Lego City stating, As a designer for Lego City, it's always neat when the research comes to us. In this case, the biggest airplane in the world, the AN-225, hiding behind some buildings. So are they looking to... 
um, create the largest plane, maybe as a cargo plan, plane, or are they just using this as a similar style? Uh, that's not the aircraft they're using, but just a, whatever is at the airport. There's so many different things that they could do. They've done a cargo plane before, so this could just be a larger one, which would be kind of insane because the one that they have already made is pretty big. One of the biggest reveals this week, and it was teased earlier in the week with a picture of a look like F1 covered in cloth and something smaller. So we all knew it was going to be something in an F1 form, and this was the Technic McLaren Formula 1 race car. It's going to be an 18 plus range at 1,432 pieces and a cost of $180, and it's going to be available on March 1st. It's got an orange and blue uh, color scheme to it, and if for all those people who are into Formula 1, it's a beautiful design that accurately depicts all the curves and angles and it even has wheel caps to cover up for the streamline aspect to it. They've worked in depth with McLaren on this and trying to get the Formula One uh, car build exactly as well to specs as they could for a Technic car. Now, could this be future uh, iterations of partnership with McLaren? Maybe we'll see a uh, collector series or whatever they're calling it for the Technic uh, large-scale supercars uh, that would be really, really cool as like a P1 or something. We talked about it a few weeks ago that the Pick-A-Brick series is going to be merging with the Bricks and Pieces. Now that's become alive in four different nations. That's including the UK, France, Germany, and the Netherlands. This merges the two systems together so it's easier to help in your purchasing process and reduce shipping costs because you had to go back and forth between what you could buy and the it should be easier. Handling fees will be decreased and give you the opportunity to put your pieces all together and ship them to you in a faster, more efficient way. As the Disney Star Wars Boba Fett series comes to an end, we look to the coming summer for some Lego sets. There was rumors for a while, and it looks like the images have finally come up of the Lego Boba Fett Palace. Now, this is the end scene credit from The Mandalorian Season 2, and it, it includes uh, Fennec Shang, the, um, Boba Fett, uh, a bunch of characters from the original pieces. And what's cool is it has the full throne with some stickers on it. I, I love this um, design. It's a callback to, well, the similar styles that they did before, just a blend of some newer features. And we're going to see how much it costs. It's looking to be about $100. And you can make yourself and put your minifigure on the throne to be the new daimyo of Tatooine, or as my wife and I like to call it, Tatooine. Ninjago's been coming out with some of these core stories uh, concerning their characters, and they've been putting on YouTube, and this latest one from Ninjago does a little joke uh, about the grip of Lego bricks and how to do it with Lego figures. Now, uh, when uh, one of them tried to move something, they couldn't grip it correctly because their arm could only do so much movement and doesn't twist or bend in the uh, outward direction so the character just takes his arm off to help grip something and it's always been funny to see that in specifically for any other figures because you see it in designs people do artwork and in the lego movie but in real life you just can't do it a surprise was revealed for the latest Brickheads, which this doesn't happen very often, and it's a Brickheads of the Spice Girls tribute. There are all five Spice Girls. We've got uh, Scary Spice, Sporty Spice, Baby Spice, Ginger Spice, and Posh Spice. Now, honestly, I didn't know all those names. I just knew Posh Spice. It's a five-pack of Brickheads, which is the first time that this has ever happened, and it's going to be $50. So it's the standard price for one Brickhead each. Um, there's not very much. There's maybe two prints for this, but all in all, it's kind of a boring set unless you really enjoy the Spice Girls and want this. I think that they should instead do maybe the Beatles. Since they did do that with the artwork, this would be a better set of Brickheads. Okay, we're back to Adidas, and LEGO are continuing to move forward, this time with basketball trainers. The basketball trainers have some really bright colors, and uh, they also have designs with brick heads on them, uh, similar to like a cheetah style, very yellow, 
and green. Uh, they're available online already, so you can go to adidas.com uh, and find these. These are all in the uh, kids style size, uh, and maybe the adults. I don't really see that happening though, but it's a big um, pool for a lot of NBA fans, and uh, you can go out and shoot some hoops with some Lego. There's a game on Apple Arcades called Lego Brawl, and this game is where you can design your own minifigure and then you compete against others uh, while controlling different objects. So think of it as like a Smash Brothers with Lego. Um, and it was exclusive to Apple, but now it's going to be headed to the Nintendo Switch. It was announced on Nintendo Direct that you will be able to get it in June of this year. You can play against your friends and it looks fun. It's developed in partnership with Red Games and it's a fast-paced Lego takes on multiplayer plat- platform full of building, rebuilding, and unique brick humor surprise um, this will be something that you can have on your switch uh, if you have you know the time to play since most of us will be playing the lego star wars skywalker saga we talked about star wars already but the summer seems like it's going to be working up to be uh, some crazy builds uh, we're looking at the possibility of the at te coming back which hasn't been made since 2013 and that's going to come at a price of a hundred dollars we also have a bd1 droid if you don't know what that is that's the little droid that showed up in the last or excuse me episode six of the boba fett we have cad bane's ship uh, jedi starfighter and then a few unknowns, specifically the biggest set at $530, which could be the Hoth playset, but my friend Steven thinks that it could be the Geonosis uh, Battlefield or battle or arena since it's the 20th anniversary of the Clone Wars. And that would be really great because they haven't done any of that before. I just want, as we both want, more and more prequel sets. I want to congratulate Ireland. They're getting their first Lego store. The first Lego store is going to be opening in Dublin this summer. This is going to include a minifigure factory, which are pretty rare. A Lego expressions where visitors kind of fun uh, with Lego minifigures while mimicking their facial expressions. Of course, pick a brick wall, hands on play and a minifigure tower as well as exclusive Lego models. I agree that it's been too long since that they had to wait to get their own Lego store because it's not very easy to just get on a plane all the time and go over to the UK to go to a Lego store. It's finally time that Ireland got theirs and it'll be cool to see what kind of exclusive minifigures they'll have. And I'll have to somehow get my hands on one or just, I guess, travel over to Ireland. Do you need a place to go for your date on Valentine's day this year? Well, if you're in the UK, Birmingham is having a adults only Valentine's Day night at their Legoland Discovery Center. You can go out and uh, from 6 to 8 on Friday, February 18th. So not Valentine's Day, but the week of Valentine's Day. Uh, you can go out there and play in the mini land. You can build some Valentine's Day themes with challenges. And it's a great place for all Lego lovers and people who are just getting into Lego to take their loved one and enjoy a nice relaxing time with lego and maybe some bubbly and that's all we have for the breaking news this week thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys listening to the podcast and getting all the breaking news we're going to be offline for the next two weeks as i am on my work trip and vacation i'm going to take a little bit of a break it's been uh, it's been hectic and just a lot of things going on, which I'll come back and talk to you about once I am back from my trip. It's something you should all hear and just me being my raw self as uh, all of us should be. Own up to how you feel and let the people you care about know. So make sure you subscribe to the podcast at backtobrick.com or on Apple or Spotify or any of your favorite podcast listening apps. And you can check us out on Back to Brick 2 on Instagram. You can also talk with John and maybe you can have some cool discussions on his Don't Sweat the Techniques on our video chats that we do on Instagram. And you can just be a part of the Back to Brick team. So I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something. 